Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to multiply decimal numbers. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, negative 8.2 times a 5.19. Now when I multiply this out, I'm going to first identify which number is longer, and that's the 5.19, and I usually put that up top. It's not as important, I just, it is kind of important, but it's not the end of the world. If you don't do that, I just like to do that. I then have an 8.2 underneath it. Now, notice that's a negative 8.2. I'm not going to put that right here when I multiply this out. We just know that it's a negative number times a positive number will end up being a negative. So we have to make sure we add that at the end. Well, now my process is for multiplication. 2 goes first. 2 times a 9 is an 18. 8 right here, carry the 1 over. 2 times a 1 is a 2, plus 1 is a 3. And 2 times 5 is a 10. Not too bad. Now we have the next place value over, which is the 8. Put a 0 here to give me my place value over, and now I do the same process. I'm going to cross off that 1 here so we don't get confused. 8 times 9, 72. 2 here, carry the 7 over the 1. 8 times a 1 is an 8. We add 7, we get a 15. 5 goes down here, carry the 1. 8 times a 5 is a 40, plus 1 is 41. 41 right there. Make sure everything's lined up. We add this. 8 plus 0, 8. 3 plus 2 is a 5. 0 plus 5 is a 5. 1 plus 1 is a 2, and 4, well, by itself is a 4. The tricky part here is how many decimal places do we need? Well, our first number had two places, the second number had one, we add that together, and we get a 3. So we want to move this over three decimal places, 1, 2, 3. So I'll rewrite my number, 42.558, and I know what you're thinking, isn't it supposed to be negative? It is. Negative out front here. Negative times a positive is a negative. And there we have it. Negative 8.2 times a 5.19 comes out to be a negative 42.558. And you can know that's kind of close because negative 8 times 5 is a negative 40. We're pretty close to that. I hope you learned something here on how to multiply decimal numbers. If you did, Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.